who doesn't love chocolate? If you're looking for a tasty dessert or sweet date spot, we've got you covered. We have found one of the best gelaterias in town with their very own Gelato Master, here in Coal Harbour. Hi, so we're here at Bella Gelateria. Can you tell us your philosophy behind the gelateria? Well, we believe in doing everything from scratch, uh, using local ingredients and fresh ingredients only. We don't believe in using industrial bases or paste, and we stay in season. There's something called the World Cup of Gelato, is this right? <laughs> yeah, every two years the world gets together to compete for the World Championship of Gelato. And 104,000 people come to watch over four days, 13 countries battle out for the World Championship. And for the first time in history, uh, Canada, myself, had a gelato master who went and represented our country, but also competed at that level. Really? Like what? Um, what so our raspberry beet. Our, let's just try that. Our raspberry beet, where we use fresh raspberries and we use local beets. This is a raspberry beet sorbetto. Such an interesting combination. Raspberry wait, and beet. Wait till you taste it. <laughs> so you get that sweet overtone of raspberry, mm. and you get the earthiness later on on your palate. And look at that dark, and that's, a, that's an incredible color that's all fresh. It's a sorbetto, has very mm. little sugar in it. The majority of that is raspberry. Akbar Mashti. And in fact, this flavor is saffron, rose water, pistachios, and Devonshire cream. That receives wow. seventh best in the world. That's a Persian flavor that's thousands of years. So you're gonna get the saffron, and after a while, the warmth is gonna warm up, and you're gonna get the rose water. Mm. Refreshing. Yummy. Mm. So that's a really, really special flavor. This is uh, an organic coconut, Thai coconut milk, which we presented in a cake, and this received seventh best in the world. So that's a beautiful or Thai organic coconut milk with a roasted coconut flakes that are in it. Speechless. So good. Can't believe it. I got you speechless. <laughs> this is good. This is good. We are here on East Hastings Street to meet an award-winning chocolatier. So tell us about the concept of your cafe. The concept is a little bit of everything. In Europe, you would have a bakery or a pastry shop for each neighborhood. And this bakery or pastry shop would have everything from breads to chocolate. What I like to do is, is try and make mine as original as possible. Um, I try and put my own stamp on things. And it also goes with my chocolate as well. Um, I, I source for a really good quality dark chocolate. Uh, this is a Swiss, a Swiss chocolate. And I, I like it because it's original and unique. Can you describe to us the high tea experience? Okay, the high tea experience is something for two or more people. This is presented for two people. The top layer we have some chocolate petit fours and these are a chocolate buttermilk cake sandwiched with chocolate buttercream and covered with a ganache. Mm -hmm. Then we have lemon boats. These are a classic barquette or, or a, a boat shaped pastry. It's a sweet dough and it has lemon curd fillings. Mm -hmm. And then we have, have to have chocolate dipped strawberries. They're, uh, everyone keeps bugging me for them, so I'll put them oh, on. They look amazing. They do, they are, yeah, they're fun to do. And in the corner here, I've got tucked some pralines. Uh, these are, at the moment now, I've got red heart cinnamon hearts. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd tuck them in there. And so that changes based on what you've got what I have, fresh yeah. on the day. What I have fresh on the day. What are inside these little pastries? Okay, inside the pastries, this is a chicken pot pie and everything goes in there. I'll buy whole chickens, I'll roast the bones, I'll make a stock, the chicken meat, uh, and I make my own puff pastry. On the sides here, I've got mushroom quiches. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually do a vegetarian quiche. So tiny and cute, uh, mushrooms, eggs, milk, and uh, some seasoning. And on the bottom layer, we have to have some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So I usually have a vegetarian. This is uh, cucumber and uh, mint. Mm -hmm. I've also got shrimp with uh, with dill and uh, some cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we're going to have beverages with that. We have coffee or lattes or hot chocolate or tea. Fondue for two, whether it is with fruits or with marshmallows or even a cup of hot chocolate, Mink is the best place to relax. Can you tell us the concept about your cafe? It's basically the marriage of the noble beans, the coffee bean and the cocoa bean. So we're a chocolate shop with coffee, we're a cafe with chocolate. The culture that we try and create here in the cafe is one of relaxed sophistication. The idea is that the cafe should be a bit of a respite from the craziness of the world. 
come in, relax, enjoy, everything in moderation. All of our handmade chocolate bars are, uh, for the most part, ganache filled, and that is what sets us apart from all of the other manufacturers, in that we make more hand filled ganache chocolate bars than anyone in the world. So what do we have right in front of us? I think you specialize in fondues. Fondue is one of the uh, menu items that we feature here in the cafe, and uh, we do a selection of fresh fruit and pound cake. Here we have uh, dark chocolate ganache, and it's warmed gently by a tea light, and uh, it sits in a water bath. The idea is that direct heat on chocolate will burn the chocolate, and we don't want to do that. So uh, the design of our personal fondue pot here is that uh, chocolate is enveloped in a nice warm mist and uh, stays at the perfect dipping temperature for to enjoy uh, uh, a lovely little treat. So the best way would be just to take a piece of something? Yep, take a piece. And coat it or dip it? Well, everybody's uh, technique is different. I prefer to dip it and get the whole thing completely saturated with chocolate. Vancouver's got some award-winning dessert cafes. They've made my day, I'm sure they'll make yours too. I'm Mike Evans and we'll see you next time on Food Finds.